Back in 2020, we gave you a list of the biggest game installs of all time. And thanks to your wonderful comments, we're back with 10 more thick games to haunt your hard drive. Thick with three C's. So if you like big games and you cannot lie, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. With a map 50% larger than Horizon 4's United Kingdom, Forza Horizon 5's Mexico was bound to take a heavy toll on player hard drives. The map is incredibly detailed and diverse, featuring multiple biomes and giant dust storms. Not to mention the inclusion of over 550 cars, tons of races, activities, stunts, and more. And this is all before any major expansions are released, so imagine how big the game is going to get going forward. Also, not to brag, but I might actually 100% this one. I'm getting pretty close. Another racing game with a hefty download is Dirt Rally 2.0. The game is the second entry in Dirt Rally and Rallycross focus spin-off to the main Dirt franchise. It features tracks in places like the US, Argentina, Spain, New Zealand, Australia, and Poland. Similar to Dirt Rally and Dirt 4, Dirt Rally 2.0 is an official game of the FIA World Rallycross Championship, featuring official cars and tracks from the World RX calendar. DLC for the game adds on a ton of new cars, of course, as well as new locations like Finland, Greece, Germany, and more. In recent years, Assassin's Creed games just keep getting longer main quest lines and even bigger worlds. And in most cases, a game with a big open world equals a big file size to hold all that grass, rocks, and water. Odyssey, the follow-up to Assassin's Creed Origins, features a map that is 62.5% bigger than that of Origins. Post-release content includes the Lost Tales of Greece, as well as the much larger legacy of the First Blade and the fate of Atlantis. This is Krieg. Say hello, Krieg. There are over 1 billion possible guns in Borderlands 3. 1 billion guns. And where do those assets live? <laughs> On your hard drive, of course. Borderlands 3 takes place seven years after the events of Borderlands 2 and involves a story where the player is recruited by the Crimson Raiders to battle a social media obsessed pair of super twins. Similar to entries before it, Borderlands 3 takes place on Pandora. However, that's not the only place you'll explore as quests will take you to Sanctuary 3, Promethea, Athenus, and more. The Borderlands series also loves DLC, and Part 3 is no different. The game received four major pieces of campaign DLC packs with new missions, challenges, and gigabytes for your hard drive to hold. 25 years after our world was ripped apart from the inside, we had peace. Gears 4 takes place 25 years after the events of Gears 3 and follows Marcus's son JD Phoenix as he and his friends take on a new threat to the human race. Now back in my day, you could go on a locust killing adventure with Marcus and the gang without nearly maxing out your hard drive. But when it comes to Gears 4 and its Xbox One X Enhanced Edition, well that's a different story. Because if you didn't know, 4K texture packs are no joke. They're big and pretty, kind of like a New York City skyscraper. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. Valhalla is a long ass game, straight up. I'd even go as far as calling it the definition of bloated, but good God do I love it so much. And that's why its massive file size is continuing to take up precious real estate on my PlayStation 5's SSD. I just never know when I wanna jump headfirst back into that world. Similar to Odyssey, AC Valhalla is huge and packed with all sorts of things to do, as well as a handful of meaty expansions that make the game even heavier. And that post-release content isn't even done yet. At the time of this recording, we're weeks away from the release of Dawn of Ragnarok on March 10th. We don't want to kill any of you, but trust me, we will. Wake him up a little! Released in 2018, Red Dead Redemption 2 follows outlaw Arthur Morgan as he attempts to deal with rival gangs, the government, and the decline of the Wild West he's grown to know so well. 
Despite having two in its title, the game is actually a prequel to 2010's Red Dead Redemption and features a bigger online multiplayer mode, appropriately titled Red Dead Online. Unfortunately, RDO has been forced to live in the shadow of its brother, GTA Online, which has received way more support post-launch. At this point, in a post-war zone world, the Call of Duty franchise has become known for being a hefty download size with bulky updates. However, Call of Duty Vanguard breaks that trend with a smaller size than its older brothers. However, however, things get a little confusing when you factor in Warzone. The free-to-play battle royale isn't required to play Vanguard, but if you're just jumping in for the first time with this release and planning to play the new Pacific theme map, then Warzone can bump up your overall file size. For me, Warzone lives with my huge install of Modern Warfare, a game that led our previous list. DCS World, aka Digital Combat Simulator World, is a free-to-play digital battlefield game that aims to provide an authentic and realistic simulation of military tanks, ships, and aircrafts. It features highly detailed maps with millions of buildings, 156 weapon systems, 105 ground vehicles, and more. It's basically like the deadly distant cousin to Microsoft Flight Simulator, a 123 gig game that made it onto our first list. Following two years of being in early access, Ark Survival Evolved released on August 29, 2017. It's an action-adventure survival game that actor Vin Diesel is a huge fan of. In fact, Mr. Diesel even managed to squeeze himself into the lead role of the game's sequel, Ark 2, which is currently in development. Survival Evolved received its first paid expansion in 2016 while still in early access, a move that upset plenty of players and resulted in a storm of negative Steam reviews. This DLC was called Scorched Earth and featured an all new desert map. In 2017, Ark received its second DLC titled Abrasion, which brought a new underground slash alien themed map to the game. From there, Ark would receive three more expansions in the form of Extinction and Genesis Part 1 and 2. All of these make for a file size as big as one of Vin Diesel's biceps. Okay, I've, I'm done. I'm done with the lame jokes for now, I promise. So hit the comment section and let us know if there's any game we missed on this list and hit the like button if you want to see a part 3 in the future. By then there might be a Call of Duty with a 1TB install size. You never know.